Hi everyone, it's Heart Meltingly Cute, Cute Tano, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for another episode of the, I'm sorry this is late, it came from Bandcamp, 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 where I go over a series of releases that were released, uh, hopefully not too long ago, on the Bandcamp platform, because they're weird, they're eclectic, they're strange, they're fun, they're intriguing, they're worth talking about. And they're all linked down there in the description. Uh, we have quite a few releases on Bandcamp lined up for you guys today. Uh, this first one comes from a group by the name of the Pablo Collective. Uh, down here on their band camp, you can not only get a, a free download of this, but there's a lot of contributing artists to this thing. Tau9, BFAX, Install a Friend, and so on and so forth. And apparently this project is one long, epic, four-song endeavor, and all these tracks are like 13 to 17 to 25 minutes long, and all the material on this thing is inspired by Kanye West's recent album, The Life of Pablo. Uh, this, of course, being kind of a response in a way, is titled The Death of Pablo. And, um, I don't know, man, there's, there's just a lot to this thing. Uh, and, and you, you really, it, it's like this weird collage music art project that is so many genres coming together and, and just crashing into each other violently. It's really hard to make heads or tails of. Uh, but it is, it is interesting, and it is actually really, like, artful and, um, and, uh, really stimulating. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna play a little bit of it and, and react to it. I actually like this part a lot. It sounds like some weird experimental industrial, like, instrumental or something. <laughs> That, that's the track, Washed Up. Uh, then we have other songs, Father Stretch My Hands, Part 3. So it's like, you know, they're actually in a way trying to extend these songs or create the sequels to these songs. Ow. so many cool, weird passages to these things. It's so blown out and noisy, and while it is abrasive, like, there's clearly elements to the rhythms and some of the chord progressions and melodies that sound Kanye West inspired. Like, this sounds like if Kanye was legitimately making, like, the most experimental thing that he could without, you know, any sorts of concessions toward anything pop, anything mainstream, just completely whacked out and off the wall. I'm not sure where that would fit into Kanye's discography, though. Holy shit! It's, there are elements of this thing that are haunting, they're beautiful, they're weird, it's unsettling. It's the death of Pablo. Um, and apparently there's like an alternate cover to this thing that featured like a picture of Kanye West and his mom that some people uh, sort of took, took offense to, found uh, not tasteful. Um, I don't know, I mean, I, I, think, uh, I think it's an interesting uh, sort of uh, idea to sort of use that picture in the cover. Uh, especially since uh, that event in uh, Kanye's wife, uh, Kanye's life, the loss of his mother, um, had a pretty huge impact on him emotionally, personally, artistically. Um, but, you know, I digress. That is the Death of Pablo project. Uh, if there's one <laughs> band camp in this episode that when you walk away from this episode, you should check out, it's this one because it's completely nuts. Not, 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 not. Moving on from there, uh, we have a new release from the people over at uh, uh, Har the Hard Vapor Resistance Front. We have featured these uh, guys on the... Uh, <laughs> on the It Came From Band Camp series before. And uh, this, this is... Probably my favorite concept project from them yet. This is uh, this is World War 2020 episode four 2016 version WikiLeaks versus DNC, and this is uh, uh, created by Fox Six and Friends. <laughs> 
and it's a various artists compilation. And it's a lot like some of the other uh, hard vapor that has been on this band camp before. It's very uh, aggressive, it seems very industrial inspired, but still having some of those vaporwave qualities to the production. It's all weird homebrewed electronic music that seems to have very little in the way of stylistic boundaries. And uh, if there's anything kind of linking a lot of these tracks together is that there are clear sort of nods to the recent political climate of the 2016 uh, election uh, that just occurred. And um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty nuts, like the diversity of sounds and uh, musical styles on this thing. Um, let, let's just, and, and there's so many different people in on this thing. I don't know if it's, is, is, I, I mean, there are some names I recognize, like, like uh, Mesh, for example, Mesh. Um, shout out to, shout out to you. What's up, dude? Um, you know, but, but there are other people on here who I don't know. Could all of these people be a uniquely different artist, each single one of them, or is it multiple people? I mean, or is it, or is it just like a couple people under multiple pseudonyms? I don't know. Uh, all I do know is that it sounds like a lot of these tracks are coming from totally different places. And you have references to, uh, everything this past election from Hillary to Trump to Mike Pence to WikiLeaks and Pizzagate. Um, and you know, even, uh, this Henry Wong track is titled Spirit Cooking. Uh, let's, let's give that a shot. Keep in mind, there are 31 songs on, on this monster. Come up and get me! Ah! I'm done I'm by myself! I'm done I'm done Sorry, I, I had to. This is actually kind of cool. This next track is uh, from an artist named Treadstone. Treadstone. That's unsettling. Ah, ah. Okay, that is a, that is an intense fucking drone. I don't know if I could <laughs> sit through that while it turns into. I feel. <laughs> I feel like I'm crossing over to the other fucking side, uh, listening to that. Like I'm just I see this bright shaft, or sort of I'm, I'm I'm traveling a million miles down this bright shaft of light. I'll s I'll see you soon, Jesus. I'll see you soon. That's that's actually pretty fucking intense. Uh, I, I there's so many songs here. I can't go through each one of them. Uh, but there you go. World War 2020 episode 4 2016 version WikiLeaks versus DNC Fox and Friends that from from Hard Vapor Resistance Front shout out to you guys K keep it up all right this uh, next album is completely fucking whacked it comes from a band by the name of Those Darn Gnomes and uh, the, these guys are uh, like a metal uh, it, they're like an experimental metal lo-fi quartet and there are tons of additional musicians on this thing. Please show that uh, that personnel list right there. And apparently, uh, this thing was also recorded at uh, uh, what is marked here as Apollo's Crotch. Apollo's Crotch. Uh, hopefully, that's you know more literal than it is just a crazy name for the uh, the rank stank basement that they probably. Uh, recorded this in. Now, this album in the tags is uh, labeled as being avant-garde, death metal, experimental, free improvisation, mathcore, noise rock, post-metal, progressive metal, and uh, they've also labeled it as being from San Diego, too. And, uh, God, this is such a beautiful, serene cover. It's like I'm just looking at some beautiful flower paintings over here, but as, as you will hear, the music that is delivered on this thing does not quite match up with the <laughs> the serenity of the visuals on the album and uh, th this this track is uh, one of five songs on this thing which are very monstrous uh, a lot of them 15 minutes 7 minutes 14 and and, and change on uh, the last track but this one uh, this special track over here is titled Seinfeld Seinfeld <laughs>
Much of the album is like this. It's super disorienting. It's it's very aggressive. It's very brittle and noisy. The recording is, um, <laughs> in technical terms, ass. But there's something weird about the way that this was put together. Like I can kind of hear every single instrument and make out everything that's happening. So it's not like it's so blown out to the point where it's unlistenable. It's almost like the harshness of it wasn't, um, you know, just some kind of bad home recording mistake. It's like intended to be as nasty and disgusting as it is. And there's definitely a lot of technical ability to what these guys are doing, which uh, definitely shines through despite the recording being as, uh, as, as uh, smudgy and chaotic uh, as it is. Moving on from there, uh, we're, we're going to be talking about a guy who goes by the name of Mal Webb on Bandcamp. Uh, this is a guy whose page I've been uh, conscious of for a while, and this album that we're talking about here did come out in 2016, but sort of in the fall. Uh, and this guy is a crazy, zany, multi-instrumentalist sort, whose tracks are, you know, mostly like beatbox and singing, but he plays a ton of different instruments, like so many different sounds come out of this guy. Uh, even on his front page over here, there's this ridiculous <laughs> photo of him uh, holding horns and stringed instruments and everything just it's all over him he's just wearing his instruments like a uh like a some kind of sign to say i'm crazy help me put me away in prison crazy prison please all jokes aside though this guy's music is quite colorful it's fun it's silly it's playful and again he he just does a lot like all of this coming out of uh, one single man Check out the bands. <laughs> But the guy with the microphone seems to like only making demands And I'm thinking now, come on, come on, come on now If you're gonna play a song, play a song I've got an eager ear and I'm here to hear I'm just a broad and my patience long, don't get me wrong So, you know, it's fun, it's lighthearted, it's cool Um, let, let's hear, uh, just one more, uh, one more taste over here The song Oblivious Man Oblivious Man, he's the guy With troubles at hand Obviously, the guy has a sharp sense of humor. Uh, there are elements of this that kind of remind me of, you know, those YouTubers who you see, like, just layer tons of instruments on top of each other, and they all play them themselves, and you see them in those silly, quirky videos where they're uh, doing bad pop covers, but this guy's writing original music over here. There's also something about this that kind of reminds me of uh, They Might Be Giants, too. Uh, you know, there, there's definitely kind of a, a nerd, sort of playful, uh, innocent appeal to it, too, that's very cool. Um, shout out to this guy, you know, all, all the props in the world. It seems like he's doing some really cool stuff and, and seems m mass massively talented, tremendous. You wouldn't believe it. This guy, every instrument, plays every instrument. Total, totally, totally genius. Hi highest IQ of any uh, musician on Bandcamp. I want to give a shout out to Mr. James Ferraro. He has this burning Prius project out on Bandcamp that he followed up uh, uh, his uh, Human Story 3 album with. Um, a, a project that I didn't review last year, I've been meaning to sit down and listen to it in full more times, though I have found uh, uh, through my initial listens uh, to be a little more intriguing than uh, his Skid Row album. Uh, the person editing this video will probably not like that opinion, but hey, I love you anyway. Having said that, uh, this new Burning Prius project over here is like this 21 minute two piano concerto uh, that's actually quite epic has a lot of highs and lows on it. And it just continues to amaze me that James Ferraro just has so many tricks up his sleeve. Like he's really just a jack of all experimental music trades. There's, there's really just nothing he, uh, I'm not gonna say can't do. Uh, there's really nothing he hasn't done because he's just all over the map. So you can hear already here, he's really setting the mood, it's dramatic, and he's playing a long man's game here. Like he's not, you know, hitting you with something super accessible right out of the gate. He's not hitting you with something that's 
really busy right out of the gate. He's building tension. And uh, again, the Lord is he taking his sweet time doing it. But, you know, there's really a strong mood to this track already uh, with the handful of, of spacious and very sour and dark chords that he's playing so far. And, and let me tell you, from what I've heard so far, there are a lot of interesting passages that follow this. Just sort of skipping forward a little bit, but... You know, some kind of thin MIDI synths here, but you could... You could hear he's doing some interesting things compositionally. So, you know, if you're looking for something kind of experimental, classical, then definitely look this thing up because, uh, you know, it is an interesting follow-up and a very epic follow-up to his Human Story 3 uh, project. So J James Ferraro forever. And we're going to finish it off with one more band camp from uh, the, the great, the prolific, the talented uh, Mr. Mick Barr. He has this uh, new project together that he has recently released um, an album from. The band's name, and, and look at this band camp, this is, this is, this orange-blue sort of scheme over here is, it, like, piss in my eyes, like, just looking at it, just looking at the, the, the colors sort of clashing on top of each other over here just is giving me eye strain, uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> the, the band's name is Frank Sinus, Frank, Frank, Frank Sinus. And uh, the album here is Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. And uh, we have three untitled tracks here. They are 10 to 18 or 11 to 18 minutes long. And uh, listed here we have elements of classical music, death metal, uh, black metal, experimental music, um, free improvisational music as well. And uh, certainly uh, pretty much everything uh, there shows up from what I've heard so far. Um, it does seem like, you know, very improvisational, a very sort of in-the-moment kind of performance here. Uh, and of course, you know, we have Mick Barr, guitarist, who I mentioned. Uh, we have Elaine Corp on piano and Evan Rapport on alto saxophone. So a trio. We have a trio here. Um, and let's, let's just give it a shot. Here's the recording. Here's the performance. I love that Bandcamp has kind of given stuff like this kind of a home. What, what we were just listening to there is this, was the second track, although it didn't really have that much different of a vibe than the first track, but it seems like, you know, there are definitely some performance themes here, you know, there are moments of very quiet and somewhat um, spacious tension on here, you know, mixed guitars kind of dominating there with these diddling, fluttering, strumming patterns, uh, kind of ascending and descending uh, down these keys or whatever key they've kind of set the song in. If they've set it in any key, I mean, if they haven't, uh, they're actually playing off of each other very well, um, uh, considering that maybe they didn't establish kind of, okay, it's in this key or, or, you know, any kind of ground rules or anything. I don't know what the ground rules would be for these improvisations, uh, but it sounds like they're doing a really good job of playing off of each other and uh, listening to what one another is doing and sort of, you know, performing in the moment and sort of leading each other by ear um, into certain levels of intensity because while you do have kind of those quiet tense passages they do eventually kind of give a little bit of a release bring some kind of catharsis with these noisier more chaotic moments during the performance um, so yeah there you go you know some cool free improv music uh, with some incredibly talented musicians very clearly and uh, that is going to be it for this episode of it came from Bandcamp, guys. It came from Bandcamp. I uh, want to give a shout out to Hot Dad for writing the theme song to this uh, Bandcamp series and the, the fantastic animator of uh, the intro card for this series will also be linked down there in the description box too. And uh, yeah, 
That's it, guys, okay? Uh, again, all those band camps are down there. Check them out. Buy their music. Support the artists if you happen to like what they're putting out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Transition, have you given these band camps a listen? You should, because there's a lot of interesting things on them, and you're the best. Other videos that you could uh, check out next to my head, actually probably a playlist of our previous episodes in the It Came for Bandcamp series. Subscribe to the channel, official website too, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Forever!